Good morning, this is your host Rusty James. It is Wednesday, August 26, 2015, and this is The Ride. Good morning, friends. What a beautiful, rainy, dreary, cloudy, gray day. I'm loving it. <laughs> So this morning on my way out the door, I thought normally I would listen to a little bit of the Word of God with my buddy Max McLean from Bible Gateway. And I decided, you know, today I want to do something a little bit different. So I spent time in prayer while I'm preparing to start the podcast. And an awesome thing happened. God spoke to me. Surprise, surprise. So I got some stuff from the Lord. I was really praying for just some direction in my life and in, the, in my wife's life and in the life of our family. Now, obviously, as you know, we're buying a home coming up and looks like we're going to close in about one month from yesterday. So we're excited about that. So there's, you know, there's that element that's kind of a direction we're going but I wanted to have a uh, more of a picture from the Lord about just the bigger picture of where we're going. You know, just the mortal things, the house and the job and all those things, they're just one element of where you're going. You know that. It's a spiritual life that we lead and live. So I wanted to hear from my father, and I got some really good stuff today. Really helped define a few things, and it was really, really good. In fact, I use this podcast tool I'm using right now to upload a private message to my wife so that she can be listening to the word that I got from the Lord, uh, you know, and in the next, I don't know, well, she could listen to it right this second if she wanted to. So, it's kind of cool technology. I love it. I love using technology. More and more I like using it and l less and less having to maintain it and, and program it and stuff like that. Which was actually, interestingly enough, part of the word I got from the Lord. Kind of a, a direction for my life. And I'll talk more about that as uh, as the days progress you know right now I want to get some confirmation from my wife you know that's a good thing to do husbands and wives is when you're seeking time with the Lord and you you're sensing a direction you know God has placed spouses together to confirm things and uh, I don't know, I wasn't planning on going here, but I just want to just caution married couples that if you've got one person, it can be man or woman, if one person is sensing a direction that the Lord is giving and that's really not being confirmed in the other one, I'm going to tell you there's a warning, a warning, warning, warning. Now, unless you can find that in scripture where it's clear that the Lord is directing all believers to do the thing that you think he's telling you to do. I mean, obviously that's what you need to be doing regardless if the word is telling you to do it. But I'm talking about things that, you know, moving here or quitting your job and becoming a pastor or who knows what. You really got to get confirmation from your spouse before doing major things like that. Because you are one. God has created you to be one. And really I believe that he speaks to both partners in a way that confirms. In fact, I think that's part of why marriage is such an awesome thing is because you can both hear from the Lord and the confirming the confirming word through both people helps you really hear from them and know that you're hearing the right thing. So, uh, you know, that's just a little that's just a little nugget for you today. 
Okie dokie. So anyway, I felt really good getting a word from the Lord this morning. Got that delivered. And now I'm with you. And I got to tell you, last night was a really nice, cool night. We had some friends over because we were celebrating. My friend Ben is a dancer. Perhaps you've heard of him. He's on America's Got Talent right now. And he did a live show last night in New York City with a lot of other contestants. And it was a big deal. And it was awesome. He did a great job. And for those who don't know, uh, I've known Ben for a while. Uh, um, he and his family had come to a church that I was involved with a number of years back. So I remember him when he was uh, much younger and he, their family is just a great family. Anyway, the point is he's a dancer, a very good dancer. He also struggles with uh, an ailment he has a vision issue which has caused his vision to pretty much be reduced down to the point that he's I believe he may be nearly blind at this point if you've watched America's Got Talent uh, this season you will have known his story a little bit and how he's how he is still dancing and proclaiming the awesomeness of God in his life to the extent that they would let him do that on national TV but it was clear last night that he gives glory to God for what he does and that's just excellent and you know I was thinking that what Ben goes through is can have a parallel with how the Christian walk is and so I, I wanted to talk a little bit about that today you know Ben is a dancer and he dances without visual cues and most dancers need to have cues to align and to balance I was reminded last night, you know, there they have a number of dancers that are on the show and they do very well and every one of them can see and Ben rocks it without seeing and I think that's lost on a lot of people. And I think he there's a lot of heart in what he does. There might not be a whole lot of flash to the presentation but I think that there's a deeper I don't think some people understand what a dancer has to go through when they cannot see in the natural but I know Ben and he sees things in the spirit and we need to see things in the spirit and his, his situation is a picture for us as Christians is we don't see everything with our flesh and blood in our walk. We have a dance floor called our life. And we don't see everything. We don't see where the pitfalls are sometimes. So we need to see things in the spirit. If we try to see things in our own flesh, we might go a direction that could cause us some trouble. Because the reality is this, the pitfalls that we all can deal with are more than just what you see. They're spiritual pitfalls. And then unless you're looking in the spirit, the best you can do in the natural, you'll miss, 
the best vision that you can have in the natural, you'll miss some of the pitfalls. You'll think that you're covered and all of a sudden you've fallen into a pitfall, into a, a snag, a snare, a trap, a deception. So even what I was doing this morning before the podcast, just praying, you know, I had no idea that the Lord was going to drop some awesome news into my lap, but he did. And he, I wouldn't have been there to receive it had I not expected there to be a spiritual connection with my father this morning. Man, when you get in prayer and you are expecting you will get something every time the problem we have a lot of times is that it's really hard we'll, we might be going through something and we might not be expecting it's hard to give birth to an idea when you don't even think you're expecting so be encouraged today, even if you're going through some tough times and, and there's struggles at your door. Expect that the Lord will meet your need. And if you are reminded that, you know, but yeah, I, I pray all the time and I just don't hear anything. Well, I do understand that. I do, I do, I do get that. We've all gone through that. But sometimes we just need to quiet our mind. You know, we'll be going through some difficult situation and that's all we can think about. Even in prayer, that's all we can think about. How about we just sit down, kneel down or get in your closet or whatever it is where you can tune out everything of this planet. And you just ask him just breathe on me Lord just pour out what I need right now you can do it right this minute in fact just pour out Lord that peace that surpasses our smaller understanding You have power in, in the spiritual realm that you've actually implanted in us as believers. Energize that today, Lord. Help us to see that there is power beyond our own power, beyond, beyond our own strength beyond what we can see because you see the path that we have before us is like that dance floor that that Ben is on he needs to know where the boundaries are how does he know where the boundaries are I was watching him prepare for last night's dance they showed a little bit of that and I realized something he was gauging his boundaries you could see that every now and then. You could see that he was he was probably counting his steps. He was probably really having to figure out his angles because if you if you do these spins and your angles off and then you start moving forward, you might hit that boundary that you didn't think was going to be there. I know that he's pictured it in his head. And then this is an even cooler thought. Ben has an ability that a sighted person will have more difficulty with. Because he is fully dependent on his internal map, his spiritual map, if you will, and he cannot rest on his visual sight, his, his natural sight. 
he has to rely on that inner map and that's exactly how it's got to be for us as Christians we need to rely on the spiritual guide of our life the guard the guardrails and they are guardrails they guard your heart I, I want to just thank the Lord for the picture that that Ben has helped us see today. We are to guard our heart according to God's ways, not man's ways. You know, man's ways would have us guarding our heart by by wrapping it up tight and not letting others hurt it. Self-preservation by shoving it down and hardening it so that nothing could break it. But that's not God's way. God's way is to say, don't hide it. Give it give it to me give that thing to me and my spirit and my covering and the oil of gladness can pour over that thing and soften the hardness and bring life to what was once dry and cracked and dead So you let the Lord guard your heart. He is the guardian of the galaxy. <laughs> Our God is the guardian of the galaxy. Which gets me thinking. Groot speaks. For those who don't know, Groot is a, I don't know, he's kind of like a vine more than a tree. But he speaks. In the Guardian of the Galaxy group. So you know me, I'm off on tangents now. So Groot he speaks. He's a vine. He speaks. For Ben to do the dancing he does, he needs to be attuned to what his path is, to what his dance floor is. He has to be in tune with it. He has to understand it. He has to know where the edges are, where the guard rails are, where the pitfalls are. There's a great spot when he was dancing last night. I know that he's, I know that they must have planned for this because, you know, it is, it is a uh, visual media, medium dance. And there is a spot where the camera got his face as he's looking right at the camera. And you know that that was an important part of the dance. And it struck me that Ben probably couldn't see that camera that was watching him. But it struck me that his eyes were so clear
and I got a sense that in many ways he could see he could see better than a sighted person at that point So let's go through life uh, seeing clearly where it matters. Because you're going you're gonna to be able to do your dance. If you can see in the spirit, you're going to be able to do your dance in the natural and in the spirit. So I'm, what I mean is, it's not just being spiritual for the sake of being spiritual. It's being spiritual so that you can be whole. God acknowledges that we are body, mind, and spirit. You know, we do have an interface to the real world, yo. And, uh, you know living for God and having a spiritual awareness isn't just so we can be in the clouds disconnected from everything it's so that we can be in the moment Ben is ministering to millions of people at this point because of what he's doing in the world but I believe that's made possible because he is relying on the spirit and what he can see in his heart. So that should encourage us that we seek first the kingdom of God and all the other things that are part of real life, they will be added. We will have a good witness to those who don't know the Lord. We will be relevant and have things to say that make sense to the unsaved person we will be able to help those who need help we will be able to love those who feel like they're unlovable we will be able to have mercy for those who need it and grace for those who need it but it's only possible if we are not acting in just our own physical sight but our seeking the kingdom and things that are unseen cool so i know it's a little bit shorter today but you know as i told you before i had some important things for my family and my wife before this podcast and that trumps you guys sorry that's just the way it is i love you all but you know i love my wife way more and that's just the way it is so but you know if this is too short for you you can listen to it twice I know I do so I hope that encourages you today I'm looking forward to tonight when we will watch the results of last night's show and see how the voting went with the American public and we'll see if Ben moves forward in the competition I believe his story is an inspiration to many and I look forward to seeing his story continue and I encourage you to check him out America's Got Talent on NBC Tuesday nights check my Facebook often and you'll see some information about you know when he might be on that kind of thing so I guess I'm gonna be signing off right about now I pray that God's word will grow inside of you like a Groot I mean a root stay in that word it's life it brings life to the dry and weary bones. Have peace. Pray for those who persecute you. And love the Lord your God with not half, 
not three quarters, but all of your heart. And I will see you on the flip. <laughs>